everybody, Mike and Joe here, the Bowtie Guys, from the Bowtie Group at Courtesy Chevrolet. We're hanging out, interrupting the workflow in the internet sales department. So if you hear them back there talking and working and things like that. Just yell at the minions down in the dungeon. It's no problem. That's right. We have Stephanie sitting over here, actually. Um, <laughs> and there's Big Dean. If you're a Michigan alum, biggest fan ever. Yeah. Come see Dean. He gives you a Michigan alum discount. I love to take Michigan <laughs> In Michigan tattoos say otherwise, but he says what he wants to say. <laughs> Just put it out there between myself, Joe, Stephanie, and Dean, one of us is wearing volleyball shorts. It's not Stephanie. <laughs> It's yours truly. All right. What can I say? So we're here today to talk about the all-new C7 Corvette, uh, specifically the one we have on our showroom floor, uh, graciously, um, I guess, donated for the weekend? Yeah, donated for viewing. For viewing and sitting. <laughs> kind of like you go to a museum, you have a display courtesy of. Right, courtesy of our good friend <laughs> Ali, who recently Ali purchased. Exhibit. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's like an exhibit. exhibit. We're going to put like a velvet rope around the car or something so like that. people can come and drool. But you need the velvet rope so they can't drool on the car. Right, right. Well, no the first touching. customer today wanted to, like, jump on the car, and George had to, like, catch her in midair and stop <laughs> Yeah, her. that was weird. She, like, she put her butt on the car. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost on the car, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> Ali, I, I, like, she, I, like, ran at her, and she kind of got scared because I'm a little Ali, her. she <laughs> definitely did not put her butt on your car. So, she yeah. might be okay with that. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not that butt. <laughs> there are butts he might say yes to. I don't think that one would have worked. <laughs> All right, so this car is actually pretty cool because it's the loaded one, right, Joe? Yeah, it, it's it's the Stingray you're looking for. It's a 3LT Z51. So it's the uh, end-all and be-all of Corvette Stingrays right now. So if you ordered a Z51 today, you can get yours in like a year, I guess? If you're lucky and you're good friends with, you know, um, the owner of a GM, and, you know, you <laughs> you know sacrificed your first child to the, the demon gods of General Motors, you can get one years before 2015, if yeah. you're lucky. Absolutely. Oh, shots fired. Man, those Michigan guys, they didn't really know how to spit it. <laughs> Dean's turning red. Almost as red as the interior on this car. Yes, the adrenaline red, perforated rather, of this 3LT. Adrenaline this is, red. On the 3LT, you get the up, upgraded Napa leather all the way around. It is supple. It is amazing. Supple leather. Supple. Napa leather? Napa leather. You get the Napa is known Napa for leather. the leather. It's actually adrenaline red because it's from red Merlot grapes crushed on the cows. Wait. <laughs> on the cows? <laughs> leathers from cows. I'm Wait, pretty sure. So leathers from cows. Yes. And it's red because... Because they eat grapes from Napa. <laughs> so they're basically a, a Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc cow leather. <laughs> we should have started that, talking that, about that, alcohol. That, 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 that calamari flavor. <laughs> In a pinch, if you lick it and then wring it out, you actually get a little bit of wine out of the leather. It's actually a little known fact, Mike. I don't think that's true, Joe, but okay. I'm the one in the volleyball shorts. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so this has got the the new big engine that Chevy's doing, right? The LT1? Yeah, and because it has a performance exhaust, this one's actually upgraded to 460 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. As Dean sighs boredly at those <laughs> giant numbers. Yeah. yeah it's kind of like what Michigan Office later. does up against his uh, oh. perennial loser Ohio State team. <laughs> 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 All right. So, zero to 60 in what? Three seconds? 3.8. 3. 3. But it has a six speed automatic transmission. 3.8, zero to 60. And uh, it's actually rated for a 12 second quarter mile, but the first official Z51s down the test tracks have been doing in the high 11s. So this one we're in is the, it does have the automatic. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe the first six inches or so. One tire, <laughs> one rear tire of that Z51 uh, Corvette is the same amount of width as all four sparking <laughs> tires. <laughs> Those things almost do wheelies off the line. Well, I was actually talking with the Hennessy rep um, earlier this week, and he says on dynos, those stingrays are pulling about 420 horsepower to the wheels. Uh, didn't so, Autoblog have something that was like they tested one and 
or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's insane. They're actually they're huge numbers. They're most likely underrated, or somehow they figured out the magic transmission. So I'm right. thinking they're underrated, and then when the new Ford or Dodge or whatever comes out, they're just going to go, oh, 460? It's actually 44. So the cool thing about this engine is it actually has um, those three technologies that we talk about when we talk about the, the big engines and the trucks. It's got the direct injection, the variable valve timing, and now active fuel management. So you get big power when you need it, and you also get fuel economy in your in your sports car. Right. Surprising fuel economy. If you actually um, set the car into the eco mode, which you can um, adjust your uh, different uh, settings on the vehicle in the seven speed manual, you can actually get 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. 30! All right, so speaking of eco mode, there's a few different modes here. There's weather mode, uh, tour mode, sport mode, and then there's, there's an actual track mode for this car, which I guess stiffens up the suspension, gives you a different gauge cluster. Ali, you know, I'm just letting you know right now this this. I'm putting in track mode and I'm breaking the dial off for you. <laughs> so that's how it's meant to be driven. I guess that's how the total test. Well, I mean, why not? Why, if you forget a performance sports car, why not drive it like a performance sports car? Because you don't want to go flying off of roads. You see how big those tires are? Or, yeah, they look kind of huge. You run tires like that, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're on the road. All right, so three different trim levels on this car. Um, there's the 1LT, the 2LT, and then there's a 3LT. Um, of course, we're looking at the 3LT in Ali's because he's that guy. Baller. He's a baller. Um, so the primary difference is with the 3LT um, is you get the the interior color. So in this case, the adrenaline red all the way up. It's, it just brings the whole kind of cockpit of the car together to kind of give it an elegance that the Corvettes have never really had compared to their German brethren. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the most impressive part uh, about the car for me is because Corvettes have kind of always been known as, yeah, you know what, you can get a great car that drives awesome and you know, great beats horse everything. Horsepower for dollars, yeah, un untouchable. Because basically, GM said, you know, let's okay, let's find the lightest body we can possibly make. What's our biggest motor? Okay, stick that in there. All right, put a good drivetrain, good Boom. engine, and Boom. plastic. And yes. then you go there. You go. All right, forty thousand dollars done. And you know, and that was cool because you can get a car that can beat up on cars that cost two, three, four times more. Was an LFA. Ten times more. You know, and, and the you know the C6 Corvette is an awesome car, um, but with the C7, not only did they refine the exterior of the vehicle, but the interior is actually, I would say, world class. But yeah, what you'd, I you'd be hard pressed to find a car under a couple hundred thousand dollars with a nicer interior. That's uh, awesome. No, not you. Not you. We are allowed. Yeah. You are not. That is correct. I'm gonna drive. Yeah. I'm gonna drive that sucker. Those you know Michigan what? guys trying to make a joke again. No, Michigan guys. Caught up on their words. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they're not video games? Fine. Our awesome friends have been disrupted by the lesser talents group. <laughs> That's why we have editing too. Thank goodness. Jump cuts. Jump cuts. Jump, jump cuts. cuts. Jump, jump cuts. Jump cuts. Jump cuts. That's good though. Like All right, so we're kind of being kicked out of the internet department now. Um, we've completely distracted them. I think Stephanie's kind of still working. Are you working over there? I am. All right. We're not distractible. Dean's yawning we can, and... We can battle through any... Uh, grumbling about stuff. <laughs> it's rabble, rabble this, rabble, rabble that. Yeah. Rabble, rabble. I love Michigan. Rabble, rabble. <laughs> Ohio <laughs> State sucks. Rabble, rabble. Brady hope for president. <laughs> I mean, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you Got dare! He was an Aztec. Once an Aztec, always an Aztec. Yeah. All right, so we've kind of gotten off track here. So we're gonna go ahead and sign off. This is Mike, and that's Joe. We're the Bowtie Guys. Um, see ya. If you want to see this thing right in person, come soon. Yeah, it's gone, and like drop by before this video gets up. Forty-eight hours. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> then it's a year wait. <laughs> Oh, it's like shifting and transmission wise is a little quicker. It's uh, way quicker. It's uh, smoother, harder, and uh, it honestly feels so much sportier than the than the C6. How about the interior so far compared it's, to your old one? Um, it's like if I had it, it's like made in China for the C6, and then made in Italy, Italy for the C7. It's the you can't even compare interior. It's unfair, honestly. <laughs> And a year old one have the heads up display? 
Yeah, it does, but uh, the heads-up display on this car is way, way better. Like, it's not as, uh, it doesn't disrupt you as much as the other one. This is, I'm fine with keeping this one on. Uh, on my C6, I have to turn it off. I can't, I'm not, I don't feel too safe driving with it, honestly.